Welcome back to the channel everybody. It is Mike here, the FPV Evil Monkey, and I'm coming to you today with a new build. So this is the um, Ethics Cinerat. Uh, this is the three inch um, new frame that they have out. This is their answer to the Squirt, uh, basically, or their own version of a, a Cinewhoop. Um, now the reason I specifically um, got this frame is because of its ductless and I heard it flies really good outside from the uh, reviews that I saw so um, with the the squirt um, it's great for the indoors but any little bit of um, wind and it definitely for sure will uh, fly all over the place um, so that's why I decided to go with this one so for this build I'm using the Diatone Mamba uh, F405 stack um, it's the uh, ESC with the flight controller I'm um, using the AKK X5 20x20. I'm 20, um, using a uh, Foxier Predator uh, Micro. I'm um, using the Emax Eco. And these are the 1407, um, 1407 4100 KV. The reason I went with a little bit higher KV motor is because I knew this didn't have the ducks on it like the Cinewhoop, and that's the main thing that about the Cinewhoop is that it has a lot of thrust, so I knew this was going to be a heavy frame. I knew it needed a little bit more power to go, so that's why I decided to get a little bit higher KVs. And then the uh, the Gem Fan, I think these are the Gem Fan 30, 3042s, same ones I run on my uh, my Squirt. And then uh, just a Fox here, uh, um, antenna on the back, and then the uh, the GoPro Hero 6. Um, and so I printed everything myself, obviously. Oh, and uh, of course, running the uh, TBS uh, Crossfire uh, Nano receiver. Uh, so this definitely was a, a tight, um, tough little build. Uh, you'll notice I had to use a different kind of uh, antenna mount just because I had to mount the VTX up at the front, and the normal small one that comes with it just wasn't going to. Uh, basically make it so <laughs> a lot of weird little things on this frame um, I did hover it earlier just for about a minute just to make sure that it actually lifted up and it did the motors didn't get too hot but um, that's it for right now so so far I'm pretty impressed with it um, you can see there's everything on the bottom there's where it's mounted so uh, yeah um, I tried to not use as many screws for the motors just to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. I only put two in each one. Um, and then, of course, I used a uh, thousand um, little capacitor there on the end. So uh, I am going to fly this with the 850 milliamp 4S batteries. Um, I know this is designed for 6S batteries, but I don't have anything 6S, so I wanted to try it on 4S first. Um, and see, I know the batteries will probably get eaten up really quick, um, and I'm okay with that. Um, as long as I'm shooting for hopefully at least two minutes worth of flight time, if I get two minutes, I'll be happy. Um, so yeah, so next let's uh, head outside. Let's go ahead and fly this little bad boy around, and um, let's see how it does. All right, guys, so here we are outside. Uh, we got the Cinerat all ready to go. Got all my gear. So uh, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the battery. And I'm going to go ahead and send it up. Uh, like I said, I know this is going to pull a lot of amperage off that battery. So I'm expecting you to get a short flight, which is totally okay. I'm good with that. Um, and we do actually have, you can see, a little bit of wind today. Uh, which is good. This is a perfect test for um, this particular build because this is the whole reason I got it was because of the wind. So we'll see how it does. Uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to pause, get everything all set up, and we'll take a flight.
All right, guys. So uh, back from the uh, the first flight, uh, the motors were a little warm, um, not too horribly bad. I mean, not like hot to the touch or anything like that. Just uh, warm, so that's good. And uh, the frame is not feeling warm underneath at all, so I know we're good there. We're not uh, conducting electricity or anything. Uh, so I might have to adjust the PIDs a little bit um, to see if I can uh, help out with that a little bit. Um, the battery, as I suspected, it did go uh, pretty quick. Um, I haven't looked at the GoPro yet, so I think it's about roughly two minutes worth of flight. But um, with the wind out here, you guys can see, um, it actually flew really, really nice. Um, if I was to fly my squirt out here with this amount of wind, even just this little bit of wind, um, it would have just gone everywhere. Um, so, which is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um, it flew phenomenal. So if you're looking for a small Cinewhoop style um, that you want to fly outside, um, that you can actually fly outside, um, this is definitely an alternative to the, the squirt. Um, I still love my squirt. Um, it's an excellent rig, but this is going to be something I can add to my fleet and to my arsenal of things uh, to, to come. Um, I'm also working on um, putting together maybe a naked um, small uh, 85 millimeter uh, whoop style uh, Cine thing. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, um, I really, really, really enjoyed this uh, particular one. Um, I just can't say enough about this frame. It's it's super heavy, but these little motors and the frame, and it just works really good. Um, so yeah, I definitely highly recommend this. Uh, it's awesome. It flies good. Um, I, and I forgot to add earlier that I also put on Emu Flight on here as well. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to adjust the, uh, the rates and the PIDs a little bit um, just to see if I can get it to fly a little bit. It flies smooth with the Emu Flight, but um, see if I can help with the motors um, getting a little bit hot. But right now, um, just after sitting for a couple minutes, um, they're nice and cool to the touch. So awesome. I am so happy with this, guys. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And as always... While you're waiting for my next video, let's keep these drones up in the air, flying high. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.